Izzy's in for a treat. She's never played. I don't think you've played an Amiga before, have you? No. Never played on an Amiga before. No. Never played on a CD32 before. No. Oh dear. <laughs> I never found out why he chose me to share his secret. Perhaps because we had similar dreams. But this, this was twice as fast, twice as powerful as anything I'd ever thought possible. Though what that meant, I could never have foreseen. Incredible graphics and colors, so many colors. Hello. Hello. We're back in the retro shed and yeah. look who I found in here. <gasps> I was Izzy. hiding. Yes. Now, yeah. we've not seen Izzy in here for a while actually. Yeah. So, since, since, mm. I don't know actually. Probably when we went to uh, Cannock. Yeah. Play, but then we weren't in here so that doesn't make sense. So it doesn't anyway. count really. No, so. it doesn't count. But anyway, it's great to have you back Thank in here. You. What the, what have you been up to? Um, <laughs> I've been really busy. Doing what? I don't know. <laughs> That's the story of my life, that is. I know, actually. I just, I don't know. It's just kind of, I, I will be in more videos now, actually. I'm looking forward oh, to Oh, yeah, yeah. You will you be. Know. Yes. Yeah. Coming up next year, Isabel will be featuring on a lot more videos. Actually. I will. I'll She's, be more, um, more coming. Going to get more involved. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. And I broke up from work today. Right, Broke sir. up from work today, yeah, and oh. and you're celebrating. I'm drinking Ribena. Ribena. Yes, it's Ribena, kids. Yes. Um, yes. Broke up from work today. <laughs> it doesn't smell, <laughs> smell like, like Ribena. Ribena. It, it doesn't. is Ribena. I promise you. Um, yes. Broke up from work today, so looking forward to Christmas. We are filming our Christmas Eve episode in a couple of days. Hang on, what's the date today? It's the twenty second. Twenty second. So in two days' time, we will be yes. faming. F faming. Maybe. <laughs> It's Ribena! Is it Ribena? It is Ribena! <laughs> it's Ribena. We'll be filming our uh, Christmas Eve episode, which yes. I'm really excited about because we're going to be talking about exciting things Ooh. in the form of yep. presents. <gasps> presents. Presents, presents, which... Yeah, yeah, that's what it's all about. It's anyway, pre what do you want for Christmas? What are you wishing for for Christmas? What am I wishing for for Christmas? Mmm... A pony. I really, want a pony. I really want a Shetland pony. I think we've got a box of those under the stairs somewhere. I knew so it. that's fine. I knew I we can get something. But me, I don't want anything. <laughs> you don't want anything? I don't want anything at all because I've got everything I want. Health and happiness. That's all I want. I don't believe it. And retro games. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> health, I was waiting for Health that. and happiness yeah. to everybody mm -hmm. and... The demise of electronic arts. Ah. I would love to see electronic arts bite well, the dust. They're going to. Do you they're reckon? Going to. Oh yeah. Have it's, you been watching the, the news? It's the start of it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all just going to come crumbling down now. What do you think? It's just going downhill. They're they, at the top. They are very rich. Bye EA. They must have billions of dollars oh. in the coffers. They are very, very rich. But oh, yes. Yeah. Do you know what? I just don't. It's I've been burn waiting it. for this to happen mm. since we started the retro shed. Really? I've wanted to see people turn around and just say, "Nope, not yeah, having this anymore." Not doing it. Anymore. And I think they've pushed it about as far as they possibly can. Well, mm. put it this way: you know, people are upset when you've got the likes of Disney, yeah, and George Lucas, exactly, <laughs> having a bit of a kick at EA, saying, "Enough now." And do you yeah. know what's done? Or do you know what's done all this? It's greed. Greed, that's it, spot greed. on. It's, it's just it's pure just, greed. They just want money. I think they, they, they've pushed the modern gaming model as far as they can, and yeah. all the people that have just put up with this for so long have finally said, no, yeah. that is enough. And I know for at least four or five people that, that really wanted this game, Josh being one of them. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Nope, not and buying it. it's just, no, it's no. decided. I am not going to spend another penny with EA ever again. That's it. I'm done. No. I'm finished. Oh, yeah, I'm just 
you know. What, and then, what's the point? You don't get a full game anymore. No. So why would you want to go out and buy something and have to buy something else and then buy something else? Yeah. You just want a game. It's, it's a little bit just... like going to buy a car, isn't it? And yeah. it costs, I don't know, 10 grand. And you hand yeah. over your 10 grand and you get it home. And you think, it's got no wheels. Oh, where's the door? Oh, no, it's got no wheels. There's a door. door missing as well. Ah. I've got to pay extra for those yeah. bits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just, so it's this... just stupid. Yeah. I think the days of paying you 50 60 pound and coming away with a full game yeah i'd like to see them come back actually i hope and they will I don't really buy do. them kids don't buy no, them it's not worth it's it it's not worth it you're just causing yourself a world of pain it's so expensive and you know it's just with what's happened now as well where you know there's just all these patches and it's just not worth spending the extra money no, on anyway it's absolutely it's not. just yeah no anyway moving anyway. on today we want to talk to you about the amazing no it's not amazing actually it should have been amazing but it wasn't it yeah. is the Amiga CD32 mm. I bet you know absolutely zip about the CD32 because you would have been point <laughs> four point five years old when this thing was yeah, raised now did you do so. your homework did I ask you did I ask you to do some homework yes. did, did you yes. do your homework but you haven't got a clue what we're talking about today do you no, you don't I'm even know what an Amiga no, is, do you? I'm going to ignore that. I'm just going to do you know what an Amiga just, is? Everyone knows what the Amiga is. The the, the Amiga CD32 <laughs> was announced by Commodore in July 1993. It was, And yeah. was released later in the same year. The Amiga and the CD32 was obviously a bit before my time, really. And yeah, you'd have I've been never, six months old. I was skillful at six months yes. old. <laughs> I've never used either, to be honest. So this is actually a new experience for me. I'm going to change all that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I have been doing my homework, and I'm looking forward to see what the chop down Amiga 1200 can do. It was a chop? Was it a chop down or a chop up? I don't know actually. Mm. As the Amiga is probably my favourite home computer of yeah. all time, I wasn't too keen on the idea of a console machine based on the Amiga. For me, it's like it doesn't sit right for me because the Amiga is was the best home computer I think as well as being an amazing games machine it was the best home computer of all time so I did wonder it's a bit like Porsche when they came out with a Cayenne I thought that's a really crap idea yeah. what are you doing you're diluting your brand yeah. and I think Commodore kind of like diluted did their brand a bit it was almost like I don't know it felt knee jerk it felt desperate to me and I did wonder what the hell Commodore were thinking by launching this machine the CD32 was based on the AGA chipset that was first seen in the Amiga 1200 computer and right. the console was basically you've been Amiga. doing some reading haven't you yeah it was, it was basically <laughs> it was basically an Amiga 1200 that had CD-ROM drive bolted to it yeah that's so what it is, yeah. you can actually upgrade the CD32 with keyboard, mouse, floppy drive, mm. um, even hard drive. You can, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> and it but, becomes an Amiga 1200. Yeah, so but. basically, but why would you want to do this when you you can just have one? Yeah, exactly. You may as well just yeah. have an Amiga 1200 yeah. and bolt the CD-ROM <laughs> to the drive. Ta-da, there you go. And that's my point. It was almost as if Commodore had lost their way and they were coming desperate. They're coming just des- desperate to cash in mm. on the console market because the Mega Drive and the SNES were really doing well at that point. And the machine, like you said, was basically an Amiga 1200, which is a great machine with a CD-ROM bolted on the drive. And it made, I don't know, it made really little sense to me. It was, it, you know, it's not as though it's a really much more powerful version of the 1200. No. It's virtually the same machine. Well, yeah. In fact, nearly all of the games that were released on the CD32 were exactly the same as the 1200 versions. Yeah. So, but some of them had flashy, you know, pre-rendered yeah. <laughs> intros to make them yeah. appear like familiar. Yeah, so, and they're probably twice the price. And flashier as, well. as yeah. well. So there was very little to actually distinguish an Amiga CD32 game from the 1200 I version. I think I don't think there's hardly any games that make use of the Amiga CD32 in right. over the Amiga, the Amiga 1200. I think they, they, they got some nice intros and you look at it and think, wow, that looks really good. <laughs> but once the intro's done and That's you're it. actually playing the game, it's the yeah, same game, think, isn't hmm. it? So Commodore yeah. actually showed the CD32 at the World of Amiga show in September 1993. Ah. After you were born, After actually, I was born. Promising to have the console on the shelves for Christmas the same year for the starting price of $399, oh. which is about $650 today. Wow, so that's not a cheap console. That, no, not I mean, back even in the day. Xbox and PlayStation yeah. aren't that expensive. Crazy so, money, crazy yeah. money. This wasn't Commodore's first attempt to disguise the Amiga as a console because they mm. previously tried it in 1991 yeah. with their multimedia-based CD TV, which was based on the Amiga 500 platform. I'm impressed. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know things. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know things. things. <laughs> Again, it was basically an Amiga with a CD-ROM drive bolted into yeah. it. Let's just let's be honest. And it was a total, total and utter, utter failure. failure. It was an absolute <laughs> flop, wasn't it? Especially as it was priced nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars yeah. at launch. I mean, you would have thought they'd learnt the lesson yeah. a little bit, yeah. but yeah. no. I remember when the CD no. TV was launched. It basically looked like a CD player. It looked like a yeah. It looked like a DVD CD player. Ah. It was meant to go under your TV, and it was it was meant to kind of like fit into the whole living room environment and not look out of place under a TV or mm. you know to sit on top of your VCR. And yeah. it was just overpriced tack. Really it was just like, yeah, it was a thousand dollars at launch. It completely flopped. The yeah. CD32 is a different beast altogether. It looks much more like a regular game. In fact, it looks a little bit like a Mega Drive. It looks like a games console, isn't it? And yeah. Although it does have a really odd pair of looking cheap, nasty controllers. The controllers aren't very nice at all, actually. No. The technology was racing ahead at a fast pace. Uh, especially in PC markets, yeah. and the AGA chipset was looking obsolete not long after the Amiga 1200 launched. Yeah. So the CD32 was already onto a, a loser. It was, yeah. Really. It was. I mean, when you consider the Sega Saturn, 3DO, and PlayStation were launched by 1994, yeah, about a year, less than a year later. Yeah, yeah, and they were designed to be 3D consoles as well. So the CD32 performance was never really going to live up to the hype. It was almost, let's be honest. yeah, it was, it was literally. Six or seven years too late. Yeah. Had they released it a lot earlier, it would have done very well, actually. Yeah. Shortly after the release of the CD32, Commodore went absolutely bust mm. in 1994, mm. which caused the CD32 to be absolutely discontinued months after its launch. In fact, to be honest, it was never officially sold in the US at all, ah. despite Commodore having a huge stockpile of the damn things in the Philippines, <laughs> awaiting delivery into the US market. A federal judge, a US federal judge, ordered Commodore to settle all their outstanding debts, which we're talking millions, Oof. before they were actually allowed to sell that poor thing in the US at all. Um, so, you know, never yeah. took a chance really. I mean, how they managed to get into this mess after the huge success of the Amiga, mm. it's quite a sad story really when you think about bad it. Bad management. Yeah, bad management, <laughs> bad lack management. of direction, yeah. utter stupidness. Yeah. As the Amiga was so ahead of its time It as was well. the best computer, I mean, I crow it's on just... about it so much, <laughs> it was the best computer of its time yeah. and it was a good decade ahead of anything else how they actually screwed up so badly I, I don't know well they, they should have developed it much faster than they did really yeah and the rest of the story is history yeah. Yeah. I mean during its brief life the CD32 sold approximately 100,000 units in Europe ready for the technical bit go on don't pull funny faces I need to find somewhere comfortable <laughs> <laughs> The CD32 was capable of displaying 24-bit, 16 million colours with a maximum resolution of... Are you bored? Huh? That's right. 1280, <laughs> 1280 by 512 pixels interlaced. That was the PAL version of it, anyway. Four times 8-bit channel stereo sound with a double speed CD-ROM drive. Double speed. That sounds very techy. That is so slow by today's standards. Really? I think my first CD-ROM drive in a PC was dual speed. Oh. And it came with a copy of Coral Draw. Coral Draw? Coral Draw. Yes. Wow. I'll have to Google that. Ports included a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Ah. Uh. I could feel an Apple joke coming along. Uh. But I won't. <laughs> no. Do you remember what that was, Apple? People still use it today, actually. Uh. Mm, the headphone jack. Uh, two game ports, of yeah. which you could plug a mouse into. So for games like Cannon Father, which we'll be taking a look at, you can use a mouse for that. Yeah. It had an auxiliary port on the rear that you could plug a keyboard into, an expansion slot for loads of other peripherals, RF audio out, and S video for enhanced visuals. If you used S video on the telly back in the day, it was always much better than composite. And the console shipped with Amiga OS 3.1, which was the same version of the OS that shipped with the 1200. The top selling titles for the machine were just literally rehashed Amiga titles yeah. such as um, Alien Breed, Ooh, good game. Banshee, good game. Yeah, Cannon Fodder, Excellent of game. course, Speedball 2, Epic Chaos game. Engine, Chaos Engine. Uh, Pinball Illusions mm. and Sensible Soccer. Sensible Soccer. Uh, yes. Being most people's favourite soccer game of all time. A lot of yeah. retro people reckon it's the best soccer game of all time. Now, <gasps> I've never played it. Never played it. Never played Sensible Soccer, so oh, we've yeah. actually got it for the CD32. So, we'll take so it. now we can. Yeah. Lemmings. Lemmings. Oh, I love Lemmings. Love Lemmings. Oh, there's little guys. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> 
So although the CD32 was a good looking machine that was marketed to compete directly with the likes of Sega and Nintendo, the poor machine was absolutely doomed from the beginning really. Mm. And with Commodore at the helm, it never really stood a chance no. at all, which I think is a huge shame. It was too little, too late in 1993, 1994. Uh, it wasn't very well thought out, I don't think. And no. it had outdated specs from the day it was launched. And it was just stupidly so expensive. expensive. Stupidly expensive. But, like all rinse of the litter... Oh, we love a dog analogy in the we shed, don't do. we? We do. We love it. Yeah. And we're actually going to take a look at a handful of games for it right now. That's a really good idea. That's if the controllers haven't broken for it. Fingers crossed. Let's have a look at some games, shall we? Yeah. Ah! It's oh, a no. bit... If you're playing Gauntlet before... Yeah, I've played Gauntlet. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like that. Like yeah, Gauntlet. it's a bit top-down. Pick up the coins. Yeah. And... Ah. Uh, ah, creatures will just mutate out of nowhere. Yes. Are you dead? I'm a, how am gone? I dead? How am I dead? Okay, he's dead. Okay. Oh, hey! So does it take both of us to die yeah. before you come back? No. Oh, hey. That sucks. That's not right. No, you have to sacrifice yourself. Right, that, What's yeah, that? That, that, that's a save point. I think it's a save point. Okay. It's some beacon. Okay. So I think you like respawn there. I don't know. It's been years since I played this. Okay. So what are they shooting with then? They're mutants, they can shoot with whatever they like. What? That's not fair. Well, our guys are them. Them? The mutants. Yeah. Or oh, grab the keys. Ye. Ah, no, I didn't want to do that. What are those? <laughs> it just popped up. Grab that weapon upgrade. I think you need it more than I do. Um, yeah, I, I can't yeah. argue oh, with no, that. Oh, no, it was a smart bomb. Ah! Oh. I'm, just, I'm not doing very Don't well. Don't fall into the... Just go across the bridge. Okay. Don't fall into okay. whatever that <laughs> ooze is. That's it. Right, activate those beacons. Okay. You shoot it. Lovely. Hey, the we're getting there. There you go. Right. So I don't know <laughs> if I'm those players or you're those players. Which one am I? Hang on. Yeah, I'm. All right, I'm going up the. I'm going up the field. You're going down the field. Ah. Oh. So you can pass. Mm -hmm. The guy with the letter above the head has got the ball. Oh right. So okay. I've just grabbed it off him. Ah. <laughs> Why am I crabbing? Do 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 do. Oh no! <laughs> I love it the little victory such a dances. Cool they game. Do. How do you get it first? I just run towards. Oh, oh. eight now. Look, baby. Oh, oh, I've still got it. She's still got it. How'd you throw it? How'd you throw it? How'd you throw it? Where's the goal? Um, short, sharp. Press on the red button. Okay. Oh no! You full on tackled me. Ah. 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 Oh, I just threw it at the wall. <laughs> Take that wall! Hang on, how are you intercepting the ball so... Yes! Hang on a minute. Yes. Have you played this before? No. <laughs> if you can see my victory dance now, you'd be proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, why am I throwing it down the field? Why are you, why are you helping me? <laughs> okay. Oh, I just... Why did I throw it to you? No! Oh. <laughs> what a great game. The colours... What do we do? I don't know. <laughs> Pitch tight. Normal, dry, hard, no. random. What? Icy. Wet, soft. Normal, what is this that'll describing, do. Baz? <laughs> what? I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm... What can I buy again? I have no idea. Oh. Oh my gosh. Where, okay. where am I? Where am I? What? <laughs> uh... I am... Oh, I've okay. got the ball. I've got the ball. This is a good start. It, no, that's me. Oh, is that you? I think. Hang on. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Who am I? What? You're not the blue guys. I'm I'm white. I think so. Okay. Why do I sound confused at that? Okay. Oh, I can't beat you up. <laughs> no, unfortunately <laughs> oh. not, Barry. On this game, you cannot beat me up. <laughs> I'm so sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> oh my God, I've got no idea what I'm doing. What? Where's the ball going? I don't think you're allowed to kick it out, are you, in football? Oh, no. See, that's why I like the other so one better. So we keep, we keep kicking it out. Yeah. What are they? Are they telling us off? I think so. Oh. No. Oh, this, the, no. Really sorry, guys. We've got we, no yeah, idea we've got a clue. This what isn't we're... This is a very good play through. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, the ball. Why did you How kick did it? did you do that? I don't know. Oh, did I get it in? Oh. Whoa. I, How did you do that? I have not got a clue. I've got no idea what I'm doing. I, I want... Oh, no, that was you! No, I'm the blue guys kicking up the field. Oh, gosh. You're... 
that dude kicking down the <laughs> We ain't got a clue. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I am. It's a good job we're not doing an in-depth review of Sensible <laughs> know, yeah. So, we... Now we know where James Bond originated from. Yeah. <laughs> See, beautiful visuals. The Mega Drive was hard pushed to do this. Hmm. Do you know what? It's really pretty game. It's The graphics are really, really nice on this. Yeah. The colours are good, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really bright, colourful and... Scrolling is wonderful. Oh, I can't remember any of his any special controls. moves. Yeah. Oh. 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 You killed him. I don't know what I'm doing to them. <laughs> I think I'm just kicking them. <laughs> so it's quite a departure from the first game. Actually, that was very Sonic. Then. Was it? Just, yeah. I was going to say the scrolling kind of when you go up and down the hills quick. It reminds me of a bit of Sonic. Ah, oh, you did ah. it. That's how you extend his neck. <laughs> but I don't know how I did it. Oh, that's grief here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why did you pick this one? Pinball Fantasy is on the CD32. Oh, I used to going? love this on the Amiga. Isabel, have you played this before? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dead easy. I played Pinball before. Yeah, there you, there you go then. Left and right flippers, go for it. Oh dear. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say go for it? It's nice and it's famous easy. Famous last words. Yeah, you can do this. <laughs> yeah, just pull the plunger all the way back and then let go. That's it. Boom. There you go. Strong start. Where's so your ball strong. Gone? I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Where's your ball gone? Where's it gone? Nudge the table. Oh, there you go. It's there we go. Me. Hey. Oh, it's gone all the way back around again. Oh, this is very intense. You just don't know where it's going to land. <laughs> oh. Oh, did I hit some discs first? What do you ducks, mean? I think. Oh. I think that's what it said. Did it say ducks? Yeah. Oh, no. It's so intense. This is all right, isn't it? Yeah. This is really addictive, actually. <laughs> Aww, oh, dear. she says. Every time we <laughs> say something like that, I lose it. I'll say this and you'll get a million now. <gasps> hit some ducks yeah, first. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah. Oh, you did it. Did you hear it? But yeah. <laughs> So where are the ducks? Oh, there they are. They're there. See them? There. Yeah. How have you gotten almost my score already? Uh, damn. Guessing sick, Because I've huh? played it before. <laughs> ah, yes. So there's your map down there, bottom left-hand corner. Can you cross rivers? Yeah. 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 Oh. And the men are sometimes hard to spot. Well, yeah, because they're all green, aren't they? Because they're like, kind of like... And what's funny, she can keep shooting them long after they're dead. <laughs> what is that? Is it supposed to be it's a, a bird? It's a bird. But it, it does look like a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> flying goldfish. A flying goldfish. Oh, what a great game. I love how you're in a group of three. Yeah, you can split them up and get them to do other things in later levels. Oh, okay, so it gets a bit yeah. more Yeah, so I think, you can, you, can oh, think yeah. you can send one off on his own. I can't remember how. Oh, I see. There you go. Now he... Oh. Sounds like there's a lot of pain going on. I think on. somebody's still dying somewhere. <laughs> oh, these two. Oh, so if you leave them, they just yeah. don't... I think if you rejoin the squad... There you go, you, you all together Aww. again. You can swim. Oh, I like it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Can of fodder is just one of those all-time classic games that people still love to play today because it's just, it's just fun. Well, like a lot of video games aren't today. This is fun. Yeah. I've obviously not killed somebody because I can still hear someone. I've not finished the level yet. Very far away. There they are. There we go. Yes. Cannon fodder. Nice. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, pretty oh, wow. game. Oh. Pay yourself for cuteness. How cute is this God, game? I'm having a diabetes overload. <laughs> <laughs> Should put a pre-warning on for people who have it. Chupa Chups, no advertising there. <laughs> yeah, sponsored by, I think, this game. Is 
So he's a ninja. He's a ninja. Alien. That can get killed by sweets. Yeah. <laughs> what like are they? Jelly tots. Very angry jelly tots. Yeah. Yeah. What a really pretty looking game. Really Aww. colourful. Lovely. Lots of detail. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god, I'm useless at this. <laughs> so what's his Ooh, attack? Candy. Ah, oh, so he shoots. Yes, yeah, so he can little... shoot. So that's Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, okay. Still don't get it, but it, it looks pretty cool. Oh. You're disappearing. Why is there two of you? Don't know. This is weird. Down as bumblebees. What a really pretty looking game, actually. It is very, very colourful. So bright. Yeah. Oh. So basically, you've got a jazzed up version of, of asteroids. Of asteroids. Yeah. Wow. Pretty, but it's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Asteroids. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the thrust. I found the thrust. Ball. I can see this getting very frustrating for me and scary. I don't like it when things come at me. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> Easily scared. Yes. <laughs> By flying pieces of paper. Oh no, rocks. Sorry. Oh. Well, it's a good job Alien Isolation is not a retro game, otherwise we'd be having to look like... You've played <laughs> that before, though, haven't I you? I have, <laughs> yes. I have played Alien Isolation on, um On Gamegasm, remember you... Uh, yes. With our friends over at Gamegasm playing Alien Isolation. And it's fair to say it looked like you were going to poo yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Never playing that game again. I'll, I'll let you into a secret. I'm scared of that thing. Ah. I don't like it at all. Not just me, no. then. No. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, this is Project X. I love this on the Amiga 1200. But then again, I do like horizontal shooters, and that's exactly what this is. And you're good at those. Yeah. I am not. Have a look at this. It's brilliant. It loads much faster. Yes. Oh, you're good at these. Okay. I say as you die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not going to talk. I'm just going to let you go on with it. Do you know what it is? What? I haven't got a proper joystick. That's what uh, I need. Okay. Power up. Power up. See, I'm not talking because the concentration. Yeah. I'm the intensity. Even I can't talk. <laughs> Whoa. Really nice game. So I really, much coming at you. Really like this. Yeah. Oh. What do the P's mean? Power ups, I think. Ah. Whoa. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the Amiga version. Oh, you can't um, like this. <laughs> Reminds me a bit of Salamander where it tells you to pick stuff up uh, for what weapon. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, I can hear it. Select now for speed up. No, I don't want to go any faster. No, I think this is um this is quite quick enough. I'm struggling to keep up with you. God, that thing's quick. What is it? Dunno. It's a holy thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you got it. Oh, oh no, one. Oh, another come one. Come on. <laughs> you literally just got rid of that one. It's nicely drawn, nice visuals, nice to play. Yeah. Yeah. There's not is... a lot, lot to this like goes... about this no. game. Except I just... don't think I could play it. I love horizontal shooters. It's just they they drive me nuts. Wow. It's uh it's tough. Yeah. It looks um it's quite intense. My god, it's uh tough. 
so much going on. Whoa. Whoa. So much going on. <laughs> How are you still going? I'm not sure. <laughs> break the control. <laughs> there you go. That was a pretty good. That was wow. a valiant effort. That's Project X. That was. Now this is. Now I've never played this before. This is Simon the Sorcerer, and it's a very, very highly rated game at all, as well. Uh, Simon the Sorcerer, a very highly rated game. Yes. Now you can tell this is pre-internet wow. because we have just found a piece of paper in the CD case from a company called uh, Adventure, Soft. Adventure Soft UK PO Box 786 Sutton Coldfield West <laughs> Midlands them from the West Midlands and the telephone number is 021 what? prior to 0121 oh okay right? so this so, is before yeah take a look at that there's a the bit of paper and it's telephone number 021 and Never I remember 0121 that. came in in the early 90s oh. And this piece of paper says, stuck on Simon the Sorcerer, question mark, suffering from an overdose <laughs> of swamp stew, can't tell a golem from a gargoyle, I enclose a cheque or postal order for £5. Postal order. So, and that's for the Simon the Sorcerer hint book. Wow. So, right, <laughs> in the Midlands here, where we all live, you could send off £5, right, <laughs> to Sutton Caulfield, and they'll send you a book. That tells you how to finish the game. And that's Boston. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt it. No. no. That's brilliant. Look at that. That's, the original piece. We have got that. the original piece of paper that shipped with the game. Anyway. Wow. What on earth have you got to do? Aww. You got a dog. Is that Simon then? I'm entirely self taught, you know. He's entirely self taught, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, okay. So, Simon the Saucer is a point and click adventure. Yeah. Uh, along the lines of. Secret of Monkey Island. So, oh, I love that game. You played it, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you click your mouse. He walks to Doggy. Oh, let's walk to Doggy. Look at Doggy. <laughs> My little dog, Chippy. Okay. Your little dog. Fridge. Open fridge. The door appears to be stuck shut. Oh, that's not very good. Well, it ain't much of a fridge then, is no. it? <laughs> Oh, it's really nicely drawn, oh, actually. It is. I isn't love it? the detail in that. All the flowers. It's really nicely drawn. I think this has got a very, very highly rated game, actually. Now, if this was an Amiga, it'd be five lots of disc swapping to get to the next I scene. I understand that. Yeah, but there you go. Much, much nicer. Oh. It's Aww. really nice. I love it. Use scissors on duck. What? <laughs> you are joking. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Oh. Around the game. Use it to save or load a saved game. Okay. Do you really want me to read it all again? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no. <laughs> so there you have the CD32, a console that was underpowered in 1993. Yeah. Doomed from the beginning because. I nearly said Microsoft then. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft had what? dare. Commodore went bust literally months after its launch. Aww. And it still has a fond place in many people's hearts, actually. And I like it. I, I like, like the CD32. It. It's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, now we've played a few games. Yeah. I can kind of see how people. I need to like spend it. more time playing Chaos Engine. Yeah. And Speedball 2. Oh, Speedball 2. Speedball That's going to be my favourite. It's brilliant. I isn't love it? that. Yeah. 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 So, hope you enjoyed that brief. Well, brief. Brief. Hope you enjoyed that look at the uh, Amiga CD32. And we will be back on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is our next video. So catch us then where we'll be going through our top five Christmas presents yes. of all time. Can't Thanks wait. for watching. Thank you. See you soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>